The Arizona Senate race is neck and neck with Congresswomen Martha McSally and Kirsten Sinema, each hoping to become the first female senator to represent the state in Washington. It's pretty extraordinary uh, to think about that here we are in 2018 and Arizona hasn't had a female senator. CBN News spoke to McSally while she visited Dream City Church in Phoenix. My faith is a part of everything I am and everything I do. Raised in a Christian family, McSally says she struggled at an early age after her father died when she was just 12 and a high school coach abused her. By the grace of God, I made it through those years because they were just really tumultuous for me and, and really could have crushed me. McSally went on to become the first female combat pilot for the U.S. Air Force. In addition to fighting for our country, she also fought the requirement of female service members having to wear Muslim garb when serving in Saudi Arabia. I was just convicted uh, that I needed to do something about it. And these other young enlisted women who were putting up with this weren't put in a position like I was, you know, to be a leader, to be an officer, to be a fighter pilot. And in this tumultuous time in our country, McSally says elected officials need to remind Americans there is more that unites us than divides us. People are finding it's not just do I disagree with you, but you're wrong and then you're evil and now I wish you harm. I mean, that, that is just unacceptable. If elected, McSally says her top priorities are national security, supporting veterans, and securing the border. We have a crisis on the border and it's a disaster. And there's a lot to do. Uh, this is often a difficult topic, uh, but I've been leading on it and I'm gonna continue to lead on it. CBN News reached out to McSally's Democratic opponent, Kirsten Sinema's campaign, but they did not respond to our request for an interview. Sinema, who describes her religion as none and chose to be sworn into Congress on the Constitution instead of the Bible, is concentrating her message on health care. In Arizona, folks only have one option for a provider. And if they don't qualify for a subsidy, it is not affordable. They can't afford to pay the premiums or the deductibles. Sinema says she's open to building a wall along part of the southern border, but other areas would be better monitored by tools like drones. If we think we can just build a simple wall and that will turn them away, we know that's not accurate. We've got to be more sophisticated than them to stop them from bringing in these harmful drugs and, and engaging in dangerous human smuggling. This race is high stakes because Democrats know if there is any path to them flipping the Senate majority and bringing the president's agenda to a halt, it's through Arizona. Reporting from Phoenix, Abigail Robertson, CBN News.